Hey backers, we've come up with some new mirror assemblies that don't have any memory, so we've got some new prints that are really exciting. Let's take a look. So let's cut right to the chase and look at this Julia vase that we've done. This is an amazing print uh, for, for quite a few reasons. First of all, we really didn't give this print enough light and it's still printed. This resin is far under cured and this is, a, uh, this is what I was talking about when I was saying it's like walking on a road, not a knife edge, to get this printer to work. So just, just look at how, how soft it still is. It really hasn't had enough light. Yet, because it was floating in water when it was printed, it was able to, to really still hold its shape, even though it's not rigid at all. So one of the inherent advantages with the, the way that the Peachy printer works is that basically anything you print, the print itself almost feels like it's floating in space. Like there's basically a very little gravitational effect on the printed object. And we're also not physically touching the object with any mass, we're just hitting it with light. So because of those two factors, it's, it's basically as if you're printing in space. So even when printing objects that come out really far and they have far out hanging uh, ledges and prints that are just really weak, they still work because there's just no pressures on the print itself. So lastly on the Julia vase, we still have some artifacts in the Z and I think that's just because we've only sliced this Julia vase 400 times. So we're seeing, we're seeing uh, the stepping action of those slices and we probably need to run it through the slicer with you know at least 2,000 uh, slices and then I think we might see a Julia vase that's you know very very clear all the way up through the print. Regardless of the artifacts that are here this is still a really impressive print and it's showing us a lot about the potential that the Peachy printer has to do complex objects that are otherwise really hard to print. This is the blender mascot, Susan. She's a small monkey figurine. And we finally got to print her. I've been trying to print her for mm, over seven or eight months. And uh, I've had some success, but uh, here we are at a stage where she's really looking good. The reason that we're able to do this now is because we don't have any more memory in our mirror assembly. And what that means is that when we ask the laser to move to a spot and then come back to the same spot that it was, it does. It, where, it, where it's been doesn't affect where it's going. So with that solved, we can go to anywhere on the X and the Y axis and, and it will accurately uh, go to those places. We also wanted to test the printer's consistency. So we've printed Susan many times over and over. And that's going great. So I'm really impressed with the consistency of the printer and with our new mirror assembly. No memory is a great thing and it's really showing in the prints. Thanks again for watching backers. Stay tuned because we've got lots of updates coming soon.